Today, April 30th, marks three years since Dontre Hamilton was shot and killed in Red Arrow Park. Every year on this day, his family invites everyone to honor his life at an event they call Dontre Day. We're celebrating his life. We're not celebrating the way that he died. Because of the rain, Dontre Hamilton's mom, brothers, and about 100 community members gathered inside at All People's Church. We want to just bring people together to say, hey, thank you for supporting our family. Uh, thank you for being there for us. They've made it their mission to make Hamilton's death a catalyst for change. To bring our community together from all walks of life because all lives are important. We want to stay persistent and make sure that the, the system is working properly. Normally, they spend April 30th at Red Arrow Park, where Hamilton, who had a history of paranoid schizophrenia, was fatally shot by now fired Milwaukee police officer Christopher Manny. Manny said Hamilton grabbed his baton and struck him. I'm not satisfied that he wasn't criminally charged. Manny was not charged, but he did lose his job. He's able to collect disability, which entitles him to more than half of his former salary. To my family, the hurt and the pain, uh, it don't feel like justice. We have forgave Officer Manny for what he did, and he will have to deal with what the action that he did three years ago. An action, a day, and a death that are never out of their minds. Every day to me feels like April 30th. You know, it all, it's not a day that goes by that we don't think about Don Trey in some way, shape or form. We always keep him close in our thoughts and in our memory. Now, Hamilton's family did file a civil lawsuit that is still pending and a documentary focusing on this case premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival last month.